Welcome to learning math skills with Kashyap. So today I am here with a new topic, with a new lecture. So let's start our today's lecture. First we will see what is our topic, what uh, we are going to start today. We are going to start your new topic, that your to topic name is at your screens, that is pie chart. So first of all, what is charts, what are the graphs? In your daily life you see a lot of graphs and charts on the social media on the different medias you use to see you uh, play games or you watch matches you see a lot of graphs are there that is basically a chart or graph is a graphical pictorial representation of data or some values in organized method organized manner it, it is very easy to uh, for us to understand any data or presentation given through a chart or color, colorful lines or bar graphs or different type of charts so let's see what are the different types of graphs or charts we used in our daily life so first of all we see that is a bar chart bar chart means the data shows with the long bars and it is if it if it is in the vertical form like this then we call it it is a vertical bar chart right so you studied this uh, such type of uh, charts uh, in the previous class as well and you know these charts are in your daily life similarly there is another type of bar chart that is horizontal bar chart if the data shows in horizontal bars horizontal lines right then we call it a horizontal bar chart there is another type of the graph that is line graph while you are watching a match of especially in the cricket match a team is chasing at what average he scored and how much uh, going on the second team uh, scoring so in this case the chart looks like in such way you saw on the tv screen so such charts are called line chart so now come to what is our topic that is pie chart you are very much familiar everyone knows now a days a babar azam a star player of pakistan he scored 100 runs in an innings and this is the chart showing but where he scored his runs in the ground means what are his strong area the strong area is this one 20 20% and 27% scored runs in this area so in this way it is very easy to us to understand the data represented through the charts so Part, what is pie chart? So let's see. Pie chart basically is a circular chart. The whole circle shows the one hole. Means a circle hole and that is half of the circle. Half of the circle shows by the 1 over 2. If we divide it further into its four equal parts, then each fourth part is shown by the 1 over 4. <coughs> The other way is to show the pie chart, the data show the pie chart, that is <coughs> percentage. So if you divide the percentage into half, it will come 50%, right, or <coughs> any percent. Look here, these are the different charts. The whole chart shows 360 degree. As you know that the angle on a one point is 360. So that is a basically degree shows if we divide into four equal parts then each part shows 90 and similar with the percentage if we show it a circular with the percent then a circle completely shows with the 100 so let's start some questions you will enjoy these questions and it is very interesting if you already did and read and you know how to read the different bar graphs or vertical bar graphs the first time you are going to read or solve the pie charts so pie charts you can say or you can say pie graph so we start with the, your workbook question 81 so what is the question with us the question is that the pie chart shows number of primary six primary six means you are a grade six students in four different co-curricular activities so let's see what the uh, pie chart shows the art club student joins the art club that is 28 student join the computer club 24 speech and drama 18 and scouts are 15 so what is uh, he is asking the question the
the question is that which of the four curricular activities the most popular most people so which one so it's very much visible that scouts is the 50 the most one so your answer is scouts is the four uh, most uh, people choose so what is the next question next question is <clears throat> how many total pupils so how many total pupils what we did we simply add these all 18 plus 14 plus 28 and plus 15 and we, we add all these pupils we get 120 so means total number of pupils in that class that is 120 so come to the next the C part of the same question what is the C part are there more pupils in scout or scouts in speech and drama means there are more pupils in scouts or speech and drama so it is clearly visible that scouts are more than speech and drama so how many more means means how many scouts are more than pupils who select speech and drama so if we subtract 18 from 50 we will get 32 means 32 more scouts are there than speech and drama so let's see move to the next question so we have another question from your workbook that is from your workbook page number 82 so what is the question the pie chart shows the number of pupils learning different type of sports in a class so let's see which is your favorite sport not a video game i am talking about physical sport okay the 60 percent is playing cricket so i am also in that 60 percent my favorite game is a cricket so let's see what is the question here so first question is very easy which type of sport learned by the most so the winner is cricket so what is the second question which sport by the which type of sport by the fewest it means sub, uh, so how many total students play cricket that is 60 percent and football 30 percent so how many students choose tennis if overall the total 100 percent then what percent is left it means 10 percent students choose tennis so the fewest people who choose tennis uh, that is students who choose to play tennis that is tennis means 10 percent students choose to play tennis so let's move to the next part of the question from the same page that are the question is that what fraction of the people learn cricket so what is the overall total uh, percentage that is 60 so how many uh, people uh, learn cricket that is 60 percent so what will be the fraction that must be 60 over 100 right so let's see so if we simplify 0 cuts with 0 and at the table of 2 3 2's are and 5 2's are 10 so oh, your answer is 3 over 5 right so what is the next question the next question is what fraction of the people learn tennis so how many percentage of students learn tennis that is 10 percent so what is the fraction form that is 10 over 100 and when 0 cuts with 0 we will get 1 over 10 so i hope you understand it's quite easy chapter so now come to the next question that is also from your textbook from the same page page number 82 the question is that the pie chart shows the number of pupils learning different type of sports in the class okay 30 percent cricket 60 percent tennis 10 percent so the same question so this is the important one one fraction of the people do not learn cricket so 60 percent learn cricket so it means how what percentage is left 10 percent tennis and if we add both football and tennis then it means 40 percent of students do not learn cricket so it means 40 over 100 and when you simplify you will get your answer 2 over 5 clear okay that's good okay now come to your workbook questions no it's your textbook question now 
textbook question from your page 195. It's quite easy question. The pie chart shows 100 people travel to school every day by the transport. 40% student use 45 student use bus as a uh, transport medium, 25 walk by walk and 10 students by car and 20 by train. So let's see what is the question. The first question, how many people walk? Yes, how many? So very easy, 25. What is the second question? Which mode of transport use the most people? Most people use bus as a transport, right? So next is the same question, uh, same question, some more parts. The pie chart showing 100%, okay. The C part is what fraction of people travel by the car? So how many students travel by the car? 10. So total number of people are 100. So what is the fraction form? That is 10 over 100 and it's quite easy. 0 cuts with 0 and 1 over 10 is left. So next question that is B part. What percentage of people travel to school by train? So that is 20. So it means percentage 20 over 100. So what is the percentage? As you know, if the denominator is 100, the percentage remains the same. So 20% of students travel to school through train. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's lecture. So uh, do practice these questions. It's very easy. There is no need to lodge uh, calculations or do multiplication or divisions. Simply you have to read and you have to answer your questions by observing the pie chart given to you. So I hope you did your practice. Uh, you will practice at home and do try to move some more questions from your workbook and textbook. Inshallah in the next lecture we will do some more questions from the same topic. So at the end do share, subscribe and like learning math skills with Kashif.